Rather chilly start to the day this morning, Keith, but without the wind, it felt a lot better and it just keeps growing. Yeah, it keeps getting better. And of course, Pat, your standards for March now are way too high, right? Like, <laughs> we, we, I have the same thing. Like, how dare it be cold in the morning in March? <laughs> I know. What? Below freezing? That's yeah. not supposed to happen. So but yeah, strange. we know it is. That's kind of where we've been at with the pattern. And now we've popped into the uh, 50s in Sanford and Waterboro. Uh, 53 in Parsonsfield, too, along 25 there. And to the north, temperatures are a little bit cooler, but still, I think we're going to make a run into the low 50s by this afternoon. The exception, obviously, being uh, Arista County, where they're still at freezing or below in a lot of spots. Nice bright day, though. We had a lot of sunshine yesterday, but it was kind of hard to enjoy it because of the amount of wind that was kicking around. And temperatures were coolish, although, again, it had more to do with our standards, like 43 was somehow offensive at this point, but that's what we ended up with. And so today's a nicer day and we keep the sunshine around. So the rest of today looks good. Low 50s, I think, for a lot of the state popping up. And uh, overnight tonight is clear. Temperatures stay in the upper 30s to low 40s. And technically tomorrow is going to be a warmer day when compared to today, but it's not as pretty a day overall because clouds do come in the second half of the day especially and so by one two o'clock much of the state is cloudy temperatures are in the 50s and I think we could even see some upper 50s and low 60s inland so it's mild it's just not as sunny a couple of showers start to develop around sunset and then the heavier rain moves in Wednesday night and it looks like there'll be some pretty decent downpours Wednesday night into Thursday morning this is a rain event uh, I don't even think the mountains are going to squeeze any snow out of this. And it stays rain through about midday or so on Thursday. And then we end maybe as a flurry on the back end on Thursday afternoon into Thursday night. But there's going to be some substantial amounts of rain here. This model might be slightly overdoing it. The European model does juice up storms sometimes. But I think the idea that it's over an inch is fair. Whether or not we get to two, two and a half. Uh, remains to be seen. But what is happening here for sure is that we're quickly erasing what was a, a, a small drought deficit with the last couple of storms back to back to back Friday, Sunday, and then this one will give us more rain. I just want to put this out there for you. Easter Sunday looks fine right now, but I just want to watch down East Maine on Sunday because the European model especially does put some showers in there on Sunday afternoon. So we don't have enough forecast, but let me give it another model run this afternoon. Just don't want you to be surprised by that. Uh, you will not be surprised by the rain and wind Wednesday night and Thursday unless you're not paying attention. It will be windy, but it shouldn't be windy, like probably 40 miles an hour or so, not enough to do any real damage. Drying out on Friday, but it's colder. Saturday looks good around 50, and again, we'll keep an eye on Easter Sunday as it could have some showers over down east and northern Maine. Mostly sunny Monday, and all indications, Pat, is that we go back perhaps to the 60s by mid to late next week, and so we just keep churning this pattern. All right, thanks, Keith.